Hey there, it's Stephanie. What I'm going to do in this video today is take you out to the garage and show you the scroll saw that I'm using and identify all of the parts that you're going to need to know when working with a scroll saw. Hopefully this will give you a good overview of what you're looking at, what you'll be using when you use a scroll saw and um, just help you be prepared for making that first cut, watching my videos and other videos about how to use your machine and you'll know what everybody's talking about. Okay, let's go check it out. This is my DeWalt 788 20 inch scroll saw. So that means the distance from the blade to the back of the throat is 20 inches. And then this is the table. This is the air hose. Air blows out of the end here and you can angle it right at your blade to blow dust away from where you're cutting. Here at the back is where the power cord is. It is a three prong cord like this. So if you need an extension cord in your garage, you need to make sure you have one that matches. Up on the top of the machine, this is the speed dial. So right here, turn the knob to the right. That will increase the speed, bring it all the way down and it will lower the speed. This is the on and off switch. This turns it on. If it were plugged in, of course, this turns it off. This is the tension knob and it controls how tight the blade is pulled up. You want to have some tension so that the blade is straight up and down, tight, strong enough to cut through the wood that you're cutting. This here is the screw to release the top of the blade and you want to make sure that if you are working with the blade, you want to have the tension all the way down and you want to have the machine unplugged. That's the safest way to do it. There's another screw like this that holds in the bottom of the blade underneath the table. And then this will control the angle of the table. If you want to install uh, the presser foot or the blade guard, whatever you want to call this, you need to remove the top of the blade, slide it in and replace the top of the blade. And then here in the back, you will loosen and then tighten this screw and plate over the part that sticks up. It will hold the guard in place. And then when you're working, it keeps your fingers from touching the blade. Then from the side view again, you can see this is the stand that I have my scroll saw attached to. There's a bolt in the back and then two in the front. And it's nice because I can easily move this around the garage. Otherwise you need to have a dedicated solid workspace for your scroll saw to sit on in your garage. All right, so that's not so intimidating, right? Not too many parts and pieces, lots of ways to customize your scrolling experience. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to prep your saw for the first cut by waxing the table and also going over different types of blades and how you can choose the right blade for what you're doing. Okay, see you later.